Welcome to the studio. Diana here today for Faber-Castell and a fun technique. I used to call this the Sumi Smoosh, but I might need to change up the name since I'm using gelatos for this. I used to do this with inks and ink pads. Uh, you'd need some paper, a water bottle, your gelatos. I'm using a book folder here, a report cover, I think. It's got some printing on the top, so you might just want to cut that away or avoid it altogether. I've, you can also use some plastic packaging for this technique. It's super simple. I've trimmed up some paper, and this is the mixed media paper. It's a nice light weight. It's about 90 pounds. Now, I'm just setting myself a little uh, guideline here of where to put the gelatos. So I'm just using that piece of paper. I've got it sandwiched in between the folder and I'm just going around it with a Sharpie type pen and now I'm just going to start coloring that area in with lots of uh, beautiful colors of gelatos. Uh, I believe these might be the iridescent set. It really doesn't matter. I tend to grab that set a lot though because I love the colors and the shimmer from the iridescence. I'm going back and forth with the gelatos. I want a pretty heavy coating of color on these uh, papers that I'm making. I'll turn them into a star garland later in the video. I'm adding more color in like layers and uh, trying to stay in that neighborhood. The analogous color family uh, so that I won't get into uh, grays or browns and they can be nice um, but for this project, I wanted to keep the color clear. I'm uh, so analogous colors is just like red to yellow. It's on the same area of the color wheel or the same side. Now I'm spraying that down to activate the gelatos and uh, six eight inches away light spray. You don't want that to run if I pick it up and now I'm smushing. This is the official, very official term uh, to in the in the Sumi smush. Laying the paper in and closing that folder and you can see there's some air bubbles so that's just fine. Just push them away and uh, that's one reason to have lots of color so that you Although, it bl frankly, blank spaces don't really matter, it, it all sort of winds up looking great. So you can see here the way that turned out. And don't get much fade back with the gelatos. And you can pick up some extra color, as you can see me doing here. And you might even get some really nice texture. If you lift pretty much straight up, you'll get some really cool textures with this technique. Let's do a fun a little variation and here I'm using the glaze medium and a stencil. I love this glaze medium. It's so multi-purpose and I'll be using it here as a resist. I have a cosmetic sponge and just put a little bit of the glaze into the lid and now I'm just patting it through that stencil. I went through the over the entire paper and you can see it shiny there and then you just set that aside to dry. It actually doesn't take very long to dry. I'm going to do another uh, printing or sumi smushing with that glazed paper, that pattern glazed paper. And this time I'm using greens just to shake things up a little bit and I'm using a gold and uh, again, be careful, being careful with these colors and just wiping them off. 
I might have gotten a little red on that and so I didn't want to mix it with the green. That's a complementary color, the red and the green, and they can give you some brown. Again, not a terrible thing, just something to be aware of. I actually love mixing grays and browns and neutrals with the uh, contrasting or complementary color, the color that's all the way across the color wheel. And in this case, red and green want to be a little just aware, I guess, is really what you want to be, is aware. And here's that stenciled glazed paper, and I'm lying it down straight onto the patch of gelatos, wet gelatos, and again doing the smush. And this is a fun technique. This is just a little magical. Here I've got my bone folder. The color was being just a little stubborn. Uh, sometimes you might not get enough water, but isn't that pretty striking? I admit to getting a little carried away the other day when I was making these papers. It's pretty addictive and super fun. Here's a page with a base coat of Sumi Smush and then a coat of glaze stenciled on top of that um, and you can sort of see that going in and you certainly can see it here um, so I layered a darker color over a lighter color and the more and more you sort of play with this technique the more ideas you can come up with uh, I'm trying to get some more movement from the gelatos there, so I'm just squirting a little bit more, and I'm going to place that down. You can see it might not have had enough water, the gelatos patch, so I'm just dipping back in and also um, demonstrating that if you push it straight down, push the paper straight down into the gelatos patch, you'll get sort of these interesting textures picked up on you on your paper very fun I love to make a big pile of papers like this uh, and just have them on hand for any kind of project I want to do collage or journaling or whatever card making so many uses I have decided to, to add a little more pattern with a big background stamp, use any kind of stamps, and the Faber-Castell uh, stampers, the brush pens, pit pens are fabulous. And I'm just uh, doing, uh, swiping the side of the pen over the background stamp, and then laying that, I found it worked better when they were already cut, the stars were already cut. So I'm just laying a piece of paper over those, look how pretty. I just love these. I had so much fun making this project and these papers. So after I was finished uh, pretty much just decorating, I did use some glass uh, bead gel. I love that stuff too. It adds loads of shimmer. I uh, strung them up on some more of that tinsel and uh, just using a little hole puncher for that. And um, I did tie them off in a knot and then tied them to the string, a heavier string. And I made some <laughs> I made some tinsel tassels because because who doesn't love a tinsel tassel? Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project and that you'll try to make some of your own Sumi Smoosh papers with gelatos and maybe make a star garland for the winter.